Hey guys, what's up? This is Blender 3D Animator here, and today we're going to be going over how to insert soft body bullet physics into the Blender game engine. Um, you've probably seen a demo of it on YouTube. Um, a lot of people, the example of the soft bodies are, a lot of people call them lava balls. Um, I forget the exact name of the tutorial, but I mean, not the tutorial, the video, but my video, this tutorial is going to be a video response to that, so hopefully it'll gain some extra viewers, and, um, we'll see what happens. And sorry if I sound a little funny, I'm sick. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's get started. First, uh, you don't need your default cube, so delete with X. Uh, go into your top view space, add mesh, plane, and size it up, I don't know. 10 times its size. So S key, 10, enter. You can rotate it a bit. Space, add mesh, UV sphere. Press OK, set smooth, and then grab it on the Z axis up. Now go over to this little guy, go to the logic panel. It looks like a purple Pac Man. So over here you have all these options. Click on static, soft body, make sure actor is selected. Keep all this stuff the same. Bounds, convex hull. Now just press P. And just to preview, just give it a second. It takes a while. There we go. Ah! It's bouncing! And it's in the game engine. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could render uh, simulations of soft bodies that quick? That'd be cool. Anyway, so now why don't we make our sphere move? So, add a sensor, controller, and an actuator. I'm going to go fast through this because we went over this already. So, connect your little thingies, keyboard, up arrow key, and I don't think torque worked the last time I checked. Let me press P. I had a problem using torque. I ended up using force last time I did uh, soft bodies. Yeah, yeah, you can't use torque. So you gotta use force. The force is with you. And now let it bounce and oh it moves. It moves and it's going to fall. Right. So um I think that's pretty cool and then you can, you know, add another one if you want. Let's make it go uh yes, left and right or forward and backward if you're from this view, uh, keyboard, down arrow key, connect these thingies, and force negative 10 about, I don't care, it's negative 13, close enough. And now we have that, so we can go forward, and we can go backward. And then we can go like really close to fall. Be like, nope, no, no, no fall. Oh crap, I did. Yeah, these soft body physics are pretty cool. And then um, I'm putting this as a video response to that one with the lava balls. And then I'm gonna have an example of some, I guess if you want to call it gameplay or demonstrations of some soft body bullet physics. So um, I hope this helped you out. It's just how to do soft bodies. Oh wait, before you before you close, um, this right here. If you lower that down to say 0.25, and you watch your spear when you go into the game engine, it it squishes a lot heavier. So it's a lot less sturdy. You can see if you go to like move or it'll like squish and flop. This is like how stiff it is. So let's do like a 0 0.01. This will be really squishy. And you, you can take it all the way down to the point where it has no form at all, but that's kind of a waste. So this is like really floppy. Which probably the lowest you'd want it. You can see it's not even a sphere anymore. It's kind of like a blob of moving slime goo. And it's 
falling off the edge. Wow, that was close. But, um, hope this tutorial helped you out, and, um, by the way, I'm glad I got two comments on my, my game engine tutorial, um, if you two guys who commented on that, if you're uh, watching this tutorial, thank you, I appreciate it, um, thanks for the rating, and, um, I hope you guys keep watching my tutorials, this is going out to all you guys, I hope you all watch my tutorials,